Good morning, guys. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I and the family are doing well. Uh, in fact, I just put the little guy down for a nap, so he's doing well. We're hanging in there. We're having fun. We're keeping busy, and we're making it through this whole stay-at-home order. So I hope you guys are doing well as well. Uh, let's dive in, and we'll talk about Esther chapter 8 today. We're almost done with the book. It's going to be today, and then tomorrow's going to be the last lesson. Um, we'll do chapters 9 and 10 together. So the story picks up right after Haman has met his end. He's been hung on his own gallows. And so Mordecai now reveals to the king his true relationship with Esther um, and what all is going on. And now they have this issue. This decree has gone out from the king that can't be revoked. And this decree said that you can kill any and all Jews on this one particular day. And so the king... Mordecai and Esther talk and they work together and they come up with a solution and Esther puts the solution forth and says make it on the day that we the Jews were supposed to be attacked and killed that instead of them just being slaughtered they can take up swords and defend themselves and the king says you know what I like that and so the king puts it out there and he has letters sent throughout all the kingdom that say look on this day, the day that the Jews were supposed to be slaughtered by Haman and his men, instead, anyone who rises up against the Jews, um, the Jews are allowed to defend themselves. And I think it goes as far to say as they can plunder those who attack them, who meant them harm. And so we see this total reversal of what was going to happen, where the Jews were going to be mercilessly slaughtered, but now they instead... They, they have this opportunity to defend themselves, to rally against those who mean them harm. And so this brings a lot of joy to the Jews who were feeling rather hopeless, that they were afraid there was going to be no recourse for them, that they were just going to be killed and there was nothing they could do. And so the Jews are quite happy about this. They're rejoicing. Mordecai is given control over Haman and Haman's household, I should say, house and property. Um, and, and it's looking up for the Jews, and things are looking good for them. So that's basically chapter 8 in a nutshell. As far as a spiritual point, what's a lesson you could take from this? I think the lesson is, guys, that we should work within the systems that are in place. We've talked about before how all governments are instituted by God, that they represent, maybe not, that, that they're allowed to be there because God so chooses. And so... When we rebel against those authorities, against those um, governments that are over us and the rules and regulations they have, we rebel against God. So instead of rebelling, use the system, use the regulations and the rules that God has instituted to bring about good. This whole story has been this battle between good and evil where Haman, evil, wants to slaughter the Jews, God's people. Now, granted, the Jews at this point in history weren't obeying God like they were supposed to, but that doesn't mean Haman's actions were right. Eventually, good wins out. Haman and his men are punished for their evil. But it comes through uh, Mordecai and Esther using the system that's in place, going to the king and saying, hey, can you give another decree? Instead of just saying, you know what, we're going to ignore that first decree and do what we want. So I say all that to say, you know, as you run into evil, as you run into issues uh, that you, you feel like you have to fight against, that you have to fight back and defeat, use the systems or rules that are in place. God has instituted the governing authorities over you for a reason. Use them. Use the, the tools and the resources they give you to fight against evil. All right? If you don't, if you break the rules, if you go against the system to fight against evil, you're, you're using evil to fight against evil instead of good to fight against good. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you're doing great. I'll see you tomorrow.